Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel Rochelle's Plans. Thank you for joining me for another video and in today's video I'm sharing with y'all my haul from Dirty Soul Soap. So if you want to see all the goodies that I got then keep on watching. On my channel I discuss fragrance, planning, and body care. And if those are things that interest you, please consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my online community. So y'all, let's get right into this video. I am so excited to share with y'all these fragrance mists that I got from Dirty Soul Soap Company um, back in November. So y'all, it's January, January the 20th to be exact. Um, so they have been sitting. I just hadn't been able to get around to it, yada, yada, yada. But I'm doing some batch uploading today. And so um, I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but I'm recording it so that way you guys can have some content and then I can let y'all know what I think about these fine fragrance mists. Yeah, I really never buy fine fragrance mists from anywhere other than Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. Um, and also so de janeiro i don't really try other body mist um but i want to start trying some of those like um the tph she has a line to rashi p henson um and what else i've seen some at tj maxx but i'm just gonna be buying a whole bunch of body care uh, body mist when I have a lot back here so some of them I will purchase and share with y'all review and share with y'all my opinion some of them I'm just not going to I'll just I'm a creature of habit and I like to stick to the things that I know that are tried that have been tried and true and that's just me that's just how I am so y'all let's get into it um I think I have let's see I have seven fine fragrance mists Two of them are original, and then the other five are supposedly dupes or compared to some Bath & Body Works, either fine fragrance mists or candles, okay? Y'all, while I was editing, I realized that I didn't give any background on Dirty Soul Soap Co. Dirty Soul Soap Co. specializes in body mists with over 140 scents and over 100 Bath & Body Works dupes to pick from. They also make lotion, candles, shower gels, and more. So check out their website at www.dirtysoulsoapco.com and see if they have any fragrances you'd like to try out. So let's start with the original first. And y'all, I first saw this company or I, I heard about this company from Leah Janae on YouTube. And if y'all don't know, her like she's huge she does a lot of bath and body works content video she does like shop with me like i love leah janae so if you don't know her or haven't watched her check her out i will try to leave her um youtube channel linked in the description box okay if i remember all right so this first one here is tres leches cake and it's a fine fragrance mist. It's in a four ounce. Oh, why is it not? Okay, there we go. I was going to say, why is it not focusing? But there we go. All right. And so it says it's made without phthalates, parabens, or sulfates. So they're a clean scent house. And it says to shake well before use. I wonder why is that? Is it a lot more oil concentrated? I don't know. It says our versatile fragrance mist is perfect to use as a body mist or a room spray with a long lasting scent. You will want everything to smell amazing. So let's shake this up. And I like the packaging here on this uh, fragrance mist. All of their packaging is really cute. Okay, so let's see. That's a good spray. Ooh! This smells good, y'all! 
I'm definitely getting the cake, the creamy, you know how Tres Leche's cake is. Is it strawberry? But it's creamy, smells like whipped vanilla, smells like whipped cream and berries. Okay, so it's the notes are creamy milk, butter, vanilla, and sponge cake. And yeah, y'all, it smells like an angel food cake. Oh yeah, this smells good. Oh, this smells good. So yeah, that is Tres Leches cake. So this next one here is sugared snickerdoodle. Y'all, I'm not sure how much um, these fragrance mists cost. I do know that they're more than Bath and Body Works. Um, this is a small business, so, you know, sorry about that, shaking the camera. So it is what it is. But I got this in November. Did I get this before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving? when she was doing or not she because i don't know if it's a she but they were doing or had a um good either thanksgiving sale or black friday sale so i got these for like i want to say at least 50 percent off if not more so this is sugared snickerdoodle and let's see let's see what this is giving Oh yeah, smells like a smells like a snickerdoodle. So I'm picking up like some cinnamon, maybe vanilla, nutmeg, and that like gooey cookie scent. So if you like gourmands and you want to smell like a sugar snickerdoodle, then yeah, this will be a good one. So the notes are cinnamon spice, cream and vanilla, cove, cove, clove. Let me start over. Cinnamon spice creamy vanilla, clove, sugar, tonka, and sweet musk. Oh yeah, y'all this smells, this is a good one. So, sugar snickerdoodle. And I have my notes here. So this, okay, so this next one here I have is pink bubble gum. And it is supposed to be a dupe for Bath and Body Works pink bubble gum, or the bubble gum pop. Either pink bubble gum or bubble gum pop. Now, I didn't get that when that released. I got it last year on um, Macari, so I have worn it um, some. So let's just see how they compare. And remember, I'm just spraying this in the top, not on my skin. So take that into consideration when you are trying out or as I'm giving you my review. Oh, this smells like y'all this smells like bubblicious bubble gum and i'm a bubble gum connoisseur y'all i yes or the pink bubble gum from double bubble that's you know the pink ball bubble gum oh this smells so good this is just so playful, so pretty, so uplift, uplift, uplifting and bright. I was trying to say uplift and bright put together. This smells like bubblegum. Also, too, it smells like, y'all remember Bazooka Joe? Y'all, this smells so good. So let's see what the notes are. The notes in this one are sweet, fruity gumball, juicy strawberries, and sparkling raspberry. Y'all, this smells good. I'm going to be wearing this in the spring and summer. Well, I don't know about the spring, but summertime. Oh, yeah. And then to mix this or layer this with um, something aquatic, not too aquatic, but something aquatic. So that way, you know, you don't get choked out because this is sweet. This is sweet, y'all. Thinking about this makes my mouth water like I'm chewing bubble gum is how real this is. <sighs> y'all, I just wanna keep smelling this, but this is pink bubble gum, y'all. Okay, 
So I checked the site before I started filming and I know, I don't think that they are shipping right now because they're trying to get caught up on their December orders. And I think the processing time said 15 to 20 days. I do know that when I ordered mine in November, it took quite a while for me to get this. I got it sometime in December. I got it before Christmas, but it was about three weeks before I got this, if not sooner. I think I want to say I got this before Thanksgiving and I got it like right before Christmas. But y'all, I'm understanding because it's a small, it's a small business. But anyway, pink bubble gum. Y'all, this is good. All right, so this next one here that I have is blueberry shortbread. And it is a rendition or a dupe of Bath and Body Works Santa's blueberry shortbread. And here is what the packaging looks like. That's what it looks like there of the blueberries. So y'all, let me shake it up. Shake it, uh-oh. Shake it, shake it, uh-oh. I had to do it. It says to shake well. Okay, so let's see what this one is giving. I would have sprayed, or I would spray these on my wrist or on my skin, but I've already got fragrances on me. Like I've been doing videos, y'all. This. Now I never smelled the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread by Bath and Body Works, but if this is what that smelled like, this is divine you get the blueberry you get that cakey note that doughy note it smells like shortbread you know how um the girl scout shortbread cookie smell that is what this smells like this is definitely gourmand this is definitely sweet i don't suggest wearing this in the hot heat I suggest wearing this like in the fall and winter you may get away with it in spring if it's not too warm of a climate where you live this is good y'all it's definitely gourmand and the notes in this are baked blueberry crumbled shortcake and whipped cream yes Oh, this is good. Blueberry, the shortcake, and whipped cream. Smooth and creamy. Y'all, blueberry shortbread. Amazing. So the next one here is Champagne Sprinkles, and it is a dupe or inspired fragrance mist by Bath & Body Works. And I never got... Oh, my cap is off. I didn't get the original, or oh, when it was out, I didn't get the champagne sprinkles from Bath and Body Works. I have it now because I got the set off of Macari. If y'all don't have it, if y'all haven't noticed, I like Macari. See, my top was off. Okay, I won't say don't spray yourself, girl. Okay, so let's see what this is giving. And y'all, I love me some straw, uh, champagne sprinkles. It was a gourmand scent. I think they rele released it. Was it in the... I think I heard people say it was released in the summer semi annual sale, but that would choke you out. You would it in the summertime. It kind of smells like champagne sprinkles. Champagne sprinkles, y'all. Even though I got it off my car, that is good. It, it has like raspberry in it. It had that bread or cakey note. And it had that like bubbly fragrance note to it as well. And that's what this had. I wouldn't say that this is a complete dupe or 100% dupe. But okay. I mean, I from my scent memory... Yes, I see where this can be compared to Bath & Body Works 
champagne sprinkles. And the notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. Yep. Get that bubbly, bubbly like effervescent scent to it. And I don't know, like the raspberry icing, but it is sweet. So y'all, this is Champagne Sprinkles. Did I show y'all the bottle? Y'all, look at this bottle. Or the packaging. Okay, that's Champagne Sprinkles. I didn't get a chance to smell this one either when it released, but I've heard so many good things about it that I wanted to try it out. And plus, I was watching, like I said, Leah Janae when she did her haul. And I want I was influenced. So there you go. But I didn't buy it at full price. I had a discount. So this next one here is Praline Pear. And I want to say this was a no, this is a dupe, supposed to be a dupe for Bath and Body Works toasted praline pear. Now let's see what this one is giving. This bottle is so cute. Or the packaging. The only other pear uh, mist that I have is Pear Glace. So it's nutty. Do I smell pear? It's sweet and nutty. So let's see what the notes in it. I don't know if I smell pear in this though. Yeah, so the notes are juicy poached pear, okay? Warm toasted praline for that sweetness. Graham cracker, graham cracker. I can't say graham cracker. Graham cracker crumbles and tonka bean. Let me start over. Juicy poached pear. Warm toasted praline, graham cracker crumbles, and tonka bean. That's a mouthful. Okay, this one smells okay. I want to spray it on the back of my hand, but I've got other perfume on there. Okay, yeah. I'm not head over heels for this one. So this is praline pear. And then this next one here is banana nut bread pudding. And I think this is said to be a dupe for Bath and Body Works banana nut, banana nut bread pudding by Bath and Body Works. So let's give it a shake. Oh, this top was off too. Can you see that? Okay, let's just put it back on. I know that happened from being in transit. Okay, so let's see. I have another one that's banana cream. I may get that one too. Y'all, they have so many fragrances on their site. You, it's a lot. So just know that if you go on their site, uh, which is Dirty Soul Soap Co., I think it's like .com, um, maybe company.com, you're going to have plenty to choose from. Oh, banana. Right off the bat. Good banana. Y'all already got a layering combo that I'm going to do with this one. It's already in my head, but I'll tell you later. You got to come back and watch it later. Oh, banana. I'm basically getting a lot of that banana, but it's sweet banana. It is kind of like the artificial banana, but I don't care. That's good to me. So the notes in this are cream, creamy bananas, nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon. I don't really get a lot of cinnamon or the nutmeg, but I get that creamy banana. Oh, this is going to be so good, y'all. I can't wait. So... Banana nut bread pudding. Y'all, that are that's all of 
the fine fragrance mist that I don't call it fine fragrance mist. Yes, they do. So y'all, that's all of the items I got from the Dirty Soul Soap Co. Company um, that I ordered back in November. And I am pleasantly surprised. Like if you can do a fine fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, I'm all about it. I'm glad I tried this company out. Well, I haven't tried them out yet, but y'all, this is my first initial impression. I haven't worn them yet, so I don't know anything about longevity or projection, but it's a fine fragrance mist. That's why I layer with my oils and body butters and then the fine fragrance mist and then my perfume, so that way I can get more longevity out of the fine fragrance mist. But y'all, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Playing with Rochelle. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.